Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are again with the Asus Tor Locus Tor 6604T. Link down below so that you guys can check it out. And today we are going to check the speeds that we can get out and in of this network attached storage solution that we have seen here on the channel. I'll try to leave a link right over here and we will do more tests. This is just the beginning. Now I also have a 10 gigabit switch from Kinap right over here to 10 gigabit connection, then eight 2.5 gigabit connection, which will be the bottleneck of this uh, NAS right over here, which has two 2.5 gigabit connections right over here with link aggregation that we will test it out now i will be also using two ssds as cache so that we can have the fastest speeds possible and one of which is the Sabrent rocket nvme 4.0 the fastest ssd on the planet 5000 megabytes per second reads and on writes so you can check it out somewhere around over here or just search the channel and you'll find and then not so fast but a fast uh, ssd the hp ex 950 m.2 which both of them are being used as cache now we'll be also using a Sabrent uh, USB Type-C or USB 2 2.5 gigabit on my MacBook Pro and uh, the Sabrent Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit um, adapter right over here. So this is what we are using and by the way inside of the unit we've got the four Toshiba 4 14 terabyte each model N300 which are the disks um, that we should use on network attached storage solution because the firmware itself it's prepared to um, search for errors and fix those errors before it's too late and a lot more features that we will not cover right over here but you can read so these are the components that we will be using now let's look at the screen before we go to some speed tests uh, this is the interface of the Asus Store Locker Store that we have seen before and I've got the interface as well of the Kinap switch by the way what I've got is link aggregation on these two ports uh, that we can see right over here so link aggregation on two and on four which is the connections that uh, are being used by the NAT. We can also see that on the Asus Store site. So if you go to settings and then on network and on network interface, we've got a um, configure. We can check out the link aggregation selected is 802.3AD. So this theor theoretically is the fastest um, mode that we can use on link aggregation. That being said, how are we going to test this out? Now we could do with a lot of things, but uh, in this particular case, we are going to transfer files and using the uh, speed test from Blackmagic and we will be using two devices simultaneously so that we can write at the same time and read at the same time so that we can check out how much uh, data or the speed that we can get out and in to the NASH unit. Now I also tested out on Bootcamp on my Windows Mac, which is the only way that I can get 10 gigabit right over here. But at this moment, I'm having a few issues on Windows on Mac. So uh, recording the screen is not giving me good results and uh, the Thunderbolt 3 uh, connectivity is not the best as well. So the thing that we will uh, use is both Mac OS, but being able that everything that we've got right over here can work on Linux and Windows and so on and so forth. Just sometimes Windows and Mac computers do not get that along. Well, it's not usual, but it doesn't matter. So let's go the, starting with a speed test right over here on the 2.5 gigabit connectivity. So just one machine at this moment connected to the uh, Asus Store, Locker Store, and what we can see is that we are using the full bandwidth, so 250 megabytes more or less on writes and on reads, which is the maximum of the connection. This is it, we cannot get more than this on a 2.5 gigabit connection. And of course, we have 2.5 right over here, 2.5 right over here, and the connection to the NAS is on 2.5, could be on the 10 gig but uh, it would not make any difference. 
so just establish that we can get 250 or so maximum right over here it's a huge difference if we are using a gigabit connection we will get a maximum of 100 megabytes per second which is a lot less than we are getting right over here and as you can see just as a side note the formats that we can use to edit yes these are not the best speeds i always advise on using an ssd to edit videos because it's probably the best way that i found so far and then offloading after once we edit offload to a network attached storage solution but we have some decent speeds now let's look at the mac mini and what we are going to do is a speed test as well and here we go 250 megabytes per second on writes and we also reached uh, 250 with no surprises right over here because we are on a 10 gig uh, network connection so 270 we are reaching a little bit more but it's negligible so let's stop the test right over here and now what we are going to do is to put the two machines uh, at the same time writing and then at the same time reading so that we can see the maximum and uh, let's take a look i just finished recording the Puchkis video and there is always when we are doing this kind of video there is always some surprise so let's see what happens now so let's press three two one and go on both of them writing so we are reaching 400 and something so 200 on one side and roughly 200 now we lowered to 170 so we got roughly 370 on the read side we are reaching the 500 actually we are going above 500 this means that the connectivity is there on the right side uh, we are lowering and on the Portuguese video it happened the same so we got a maximum of right on the 370 and on reads at the both at the same time we are reaching the maximum of uh, the capacity of the network at this moment which is 5 gigabit 500 megabytes per second and that's what we are getting on the right not so much now as we are writing and reading a 4 gigabit file what happens is that after a while it will get desynchronized and that's what happens right over here at this moment let's stop both of them let's start this one just to check out yes we are reaching the same and this one is not reaching the same this is something that happened as well a little bit before which is at this moment i'm only getting 140 megabytes on right and not really sure what it is but um, doesn't make any sense if this is the kind of surprise that sometimes we have and of course that i share everything with you guys but uh, we've got a 10 gigabit connection, we've got something capable of 5 gigabit and it's proven to, to do 5 gigabit. At this moment, if I stop this one and start this one, we will get the 200 uh, and it did, did lower as well. So there is something right over here. Not really sure if it's too many sequential reads and writes, which is what's happening and uh, we are offloading to the SSDs and then the SSDs offload to the um, mechanical hard drives something about that but um, this is what happens let's try just the MacBook Pro yeah we are getting less I'm just going to wait for a while and see if it gets back to normal okay so I wanted to do a few more tests but just black magic has crashed and it seems that to put it to work again I will uh, probably to reboot the machine so always surprises now what we can achieve right over here is that if we are using one machine we will be able to get the full 2.5 when we are using two and i will need to test out furthermore this to see where is the bottleneck because we could achieve 500 on reads we should be able to achieve the 500 on writes and at this moment what well, we are getting roughly 400 now 400 is great using two machines but I believe that we will be able to use the 500 megabytes per second or 5 gigabit connectivity potential right over here do so i will need to do a few more tests on different kinds of link aggregation scenarios and whatnot so that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there it's really appreciated right over here my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one and yes, black magic just crashed, which is uh, 
Nah, it's what it is.